Our group will discuss the government shutdown. We looked at four different news sources that explain the government shutdown in four different ways. First, we have NBC. The headline said, shutdown begins as Congress remains deadlocked. According to NBC, the goal of the shutdown is to approve a short-term spending bill. The problem is over the issues about Obamacare, aka health care reform, which is aimed to reform the American health care system. Republicans do not want Obamacare or to raise the debt ceiling and are not willing to budge with a compromise. Republican-dominated House wants to add revisions to Obamacare, while the Democratic majority Senate says one faction of one party in one House of Congress in one branch of government does not get to shut down the entire government just to refight the results of an election. He said this during a statement at the White House. NBC puts their focus on Obamacare. The next news source we look at is Fox. The Fox headline says, GOP threatens government shutdown. According to Fox, the shutdown is over drilling. The Democrats slipped into an appropriation bill, which is a moratorium on oil shale production of any kind. The procedures to open up the oil shale in the Rocky Mountains. In last year's appropriations bill, also, in each year's appropriations, there is a prohibition on offshore drilling of any kind. Republicans are saying, let's not do that. Let's not stop the production, and let's keep the shell exploration going. Let's open up the offshore drilling. Fox puts their focus on oil shell production and drilling. Next, we looked at ABC. The ABC headline is Shutdown Showdown, Gridlock Over Obamacare as Deadline Looms. The ABC reports that Congress is stubbornly deadlocked over the federal budget and ongoing rollout of Obamacare as the midnight deadline for a government shutdown quickly approaches. Senate Democrats and President Obama say any funding bill that includes changes to Obamacare is dead on arrival. The Senate has passed its own measure to keep the government's lights on and the health care low on track. The Senate is expected that afternoon to formally reject the latest government funding measures passed by the House early Sunday morning because it included changes to Obamacare. ABC put their focuses on denying any changes to Obamacare. Next, we look at CNN. Even though the polls show House Republicans got much of the blame for the government shutdown triggered by the fight over Obamacare, there are no signs that they are giving up on the fight. Utah GOP Representative Jason Chaffetz told CNN they plan going forward. Um, they said, let's continue the vigorous oversight of Obamacare. It's not just about the website, it's about a lot of other fundamental laws. Representative Steve Scalise, a, represent, a Republican from Louisiana, said, You have to start with all the promises that President Obama made to the American people. It's going to lower costs. If you like what you have, you can keep it. It's going to reduce the de deficit. He argued those promises are being broken on a daily basis and families are finding out about it and they are demanding that serious questions be asked and we, you and I, are here to ask those questions. CNN puts their focus on how Obama stated Obamacare would lower our deficit when it in fact is raising it. Tips for finding out what is really going on. This is what you should take home from this. Um, you need to watch more than one type of news program to help you get the full picture of what's going on in our country. For instance, if you prefer one news station, watch another report, um, someone that it's a, it's contender. If you're reading a blog or a report, writers can allow their own views to come out in their articles. By reading articles from different types of newspapers, you can get different opinions, beliefs, and sometimes different sides of the story. 
It benefits you as a person if you look into the truth of what's going on. Each of these four articles that we discuss have different thoughts and views of what's really going on. Your understanding grows as you check all types of views. You're able then to get the bigger picture. What do you think happened and that caused the government shutdown? To answer that question, you have to look into the opposing views from from what you have that will allow you to be fully immersed in the topic and then give you the bigger picture. In a continuation about those thoughts, when it comes to getting the facts, politicians take turns blaming other parties and it's our job as Americans to look into the different sides to get a complete understanding of the actual facts. We look into different sides of the stories by reading many different types of blogs, articles, videos, and other news sources. It's hard for some reporters to be objective due to many reasons. One common one would be the editor-in-chief is not allowing it. So we have to get the real story in many different ways to better understand what is really happening.